simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. A few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off super detox special at InfoWarsLife.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Gotta love Billy Idol. I love his song, John Wayne. We are on the march. The Empire is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. A couple of decades ago, Australia uh, had a mass shooting, mm -hmm. uh, similar to Columbine or, or Newtown. Uh, and Australia just said, well, that's it. We're, we're not, doing, we're not do seeing that again. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. basically imposed very severe, tough uh, gun laws. Banned everything they, but they uh, single shot. Sense. Oh, they had plenty of mass shootings. And I mean, muggings and general crime exploded. Are off the charts. There's no, no. advanced no, it's, it's down 52%. That put up with this. Not true. Switzerland, you have to own a gun by law if you're a citizen, the lowest crime rate in the world. Just, just all lies. I want to finish up with Kit Daniels and in some of the reports he's going to be filing in HD to InfoWars.com tonight and tomorrow. Any other points you'd like to add before we shift gears into some other news here in the final segment? Well, it's important to uh, realize that our border security has been reduced to an honor system. Instead of deporting illegal aliens, they're now just shipping them deeper in the U.S., go to Massachusetts, Kansas. Well, no, 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 they deport the illegals from Mexico to the U.S. Yeah. It's yeah. a reverse yeah. deportation. Here's the, here's the interesting thing. In 2011, the Mex Mexico loosened their border security because they are they're expecting the u.s to subsidize it they're not concerned with their southern border with guatemala they're saying oh well let them all in we'll that's right the they've always had their most draconian borders in latin america hard labor six months at least even new york times admitted that so they're now opening up just saying hey long as you go to el norte mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man wow and so and then once the illegals are getting bust by the border patrol through taxpayer money they're just saying, hey, just wait around. We'll give you a court date for your immigration uh, court case. It's like, they're not, most of them are never going to show up for that. Well, then Obama's cut the deportations by 80 plus percent. I mean, it's Absolutely. just all, all fake. And on June 20th, Joe Biden even said that we're only going to, we're going to deport the mass majority of the children from Guatemala and El Salvador, but not all of them. That's just, statements like that is just is enough to bring in thousands more into the country. Thousands? There's, it's thousands per day. Yeah. Uh, 
look, the plan is to collapse the border fully and then say, we're creating a North American security perimeter, which they already set up, to stop this because we, we got to have U.S. troops on the Guatemala border. And then it'll just be U.S. troops bringing them in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know, but that's the plan. That's their new army. Imagine if everybody just rushed the planes at the airport and just got on, went through security. And, and then the TSA just stood down. I mean, they're, now they're going through people's shoes, x-raying us, all this theater that they have in there that absolutely is... Well, it's teaching you you're the terrorist. Exactly, exactly. It's, it's not about security at all. And this shows the naked lie, the fact that they just open up the border, let people come through while they're still doing this nonsense I agree. In, the, in the airports. I want to shift gears finally from Kit and then to you here, David. Kit, you were there uh, and, and got to talk to Hillary, and, and you got separate audio uh, in the video on Infowars.com talking to her. What was it like being near such a vomitous creature? <laughs> I was talking to Rob on the way down here about it, and I told him the best way to describe it is like in the Empire Strikes Back when Luke uh, goes into the cave in Dagobah and he meets the Phantom of Darth Vader. That is exactly what it was like meeting Hillary Clinton. She has this facade of being polite, but she just, she's got this aura of evilness about her. And it's just, it, it just put, it literally put chills up my spine. I don't know, I'm not even exaggerating. No, no, I, I've, or anything. I've been around Janet Reno and it's chill. It's like cold. That's why I say hell must be cold because I don't get it. It's like a, I mean, they're really yeah. evil. And, and I've um, been in courts and stuff following cases back when I did more local journalism when they've had like child killers and stuff in there. And you feel that same deal. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they like the evil. And, mm -hmm. and I'm not just saying that. You have to be around it to experience it. Oh, yeah. You were there. What was it like? You, you can hear it in that tape. Well, you know, I, I guess the thing that really struck me most about it was, you know, here she is, you know, holding court and r layer after layer, ring after ring of security, searching people. Every few feet, there's uh, private security or secret service. I, I couldn't tell which they were. But, you know, you live in that kind of a, uh, the 99.99%, you know, of us don't experience. This is the 0.01% of the elite who really are terrorized when they think about all the rabble out there owning pitchforks. Because they don't want to see that happen. And so it, I guess it really does terrorize her to think about the fact that uh, there are people out there who could actually defend themselves and, and look after their own protection. Certainly, she can't understand what people are facing out there. And she clearly knows what the Second Amendment is about. She knows that it's about a deterrence. It's about... Diane Feinstein carries a gun. Yeah, yeah. But she doesn't want you to be able to have one. That's right. And and Hillary Clinton's got an entire entourage of, of Austin police as well as private security or Secret Service or whatever they are protecting her everywhere, searching people, uh, keeping these layers of security around her. She lives in a bubble. And, and you've got all these weird narcissists around her glowing on the power trip of being near the, the disgusting blob. Kent Daniels, we'll talk to you more tomorrow. Great job with the Hillary uh, event and at the border. Continue to break major stories at Infowars.com. Right, talk to you soon. Great job, Kit and Jacobson. All right, uh, finally, let's let's get to the new breaking scandal of when she was a lawyer. Her specialty was protecting pedophiles. I mean, imagine you want to be a lawyer, you choose. I think I want to protect child rapists that rape little girls so hard it sterilizes them. Well, what's just surfaced is an audio recording going back uh, to 1975, I guess was when the case was. And it's up on Infowars.com. It's up on DrudgeReport.com. Yeah, and, and at the time, there was this 13-year-old uh, girl who was uh, molested and raped, a violent rape, left her uh, uh, damaged for life. And Hillary Clinton said that they came to her because they wanted a female lawyer. The uh, rapist wanted a female lawyer, and she said that she gave this guy a... Uh, polygraph test and she said uh, he actually passed it and she laughed about it she said it destroyed my faith in polygraphs forever then she talked about how she got him off uh, on a technicality when they were when they actually had forensic evidence that proved that he was guilty she got that forensic evidence thrown out now this is something that briefly came up in 2008 the lady came up and she started to say something some and they again attacked her as is always the case even though she was only 13 years old at the time they attacked her for talking about what Hillary Clinton had done and then in later years laughed about now this tape has come up and this they had said she would laugh about it and now yeah uh, again it's mainstream news and, and we'll put up on screen while we're playing this tape some of the articles where you can find the video but again it's on Infowars uh, here is some of that tape he claimed that he did all this stuff. He took a lot of different tests. I had to take a polygraph. Which he passed. Which forever destroyed my faith in polygraphs. And I told him one. But you know what was sad about it was that the prosecutors had evidence. 
among which was his underwear. His what? Under, his underwear, which was white. Body underwear. Sat down at the crime lab for those efforts to perform the crime lab. Crime lab took a pair of underpants, neatly cut out the part that they were going to test, and tested it. Came back with the result of what kind of blood it was what was mixed in with it. Then sent the pants back with the hole in it for evidence. So I got an order to see the evidence. And the prosecutor didn't want me to see the evidence. I had to go to Moffin Cummings and convince Moffin that, yes, indeed, I had a right to see the evidence before it was presented. They presented these underpants with a hole in it. I said, what kind of evidence is that? You know, you've got a pair of underpants with a hole in it. Of course, the crime lab had thrown away oh, the piece that they cut out. It was really long. I mean, I plea bargained it down because they didn't have any, it turned out they didn't have any evidence. But I took, I happened to be going to New York and I took the underpants with me. I got the court order. And I went to Brooklyn where this man whose name I now cannot remember who had uh, shared in the Nobel Prize for his work on the RH factor and was one of the real premier investigators in the field of blood. Yeah, yeah well, the question here, so she's just bragging. Day. She's very calmly talking about how she got this guy off, who later it turned out was guilty, and she's real proud of it. See, her whole her whole candidacy is built on the idea that we need to have a woman in office, and yet here's somebody who throws a 13 year old child under the bus and lets her violent rapist get away. It's just like she talks about, yeah, we need to look after the poor people, and yet she and the Clinton Foundation are getting a half a billion dollars from Goldman Sachs holding fundraising meetings in Goldman Sachs's office. The hypocrisy is just amazing. Well, she wants to sick people on what's left of the middle class that actually is a, a ladder out of poverty. When she is literally, we've done the numbers on the super class, it's point zero 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 two three. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's this ultra elite that are anti-free market, and they're literally blaming all this tyranny on capitalism when they're the opposite. Yeah, but if the people who are typical Democrat supporters, if they would just look at what she is doing and compare that to... Yeah, and we're not even endorsing the, the Republicans. We just better get something better here. Absolutely. We better get back to the Bill of Rights and Constitution. And the Democratic Party right now is the most virulent cancer on the planet. It will turn into Hitler if it can. I mean, she's even putting out fascist posters now where she's like the godfather. Please support us at InfoWarsStore.com with all the great products, supplements, water filters, the best quality products out there. And join us tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central. Great job to the crew. Great job to everybody. We'll see you on the weekday show. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that was some good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality
Vitality formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I, I look forward to waking up and, and taking my Super Male Vitality and getting the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life.